hello guys and welcome to our youtube channel in this video i will show you how to create a website by using suit mania template of soft mania wordpress theme of theme hunk this template is perfect for creating an online store that sells suits blazers and other formal wear this template is easy to use and customize and it comes with a variety of features that will help you to create a professional looking website let's get started first go to the dashboard and click on the appearance tab on the left side of the screen and after that select the theme tab then click on add new button and search here for the theme TH Soft Mania and install the theme by clicking on the install button once the theme has been installed click on the activate button to activate this theme on your website after activation of the theme this interface will open you can customize this theme direct from here also now click on the TS shop menu options for further things then this interface will open now click on recommended plugin and install and activate all the plugins Hung Companion, WooCommerce, TH All-in-One WooCard, Form Builder, WP Pop-Up Builder, Advanced Product Search, Product Compare, Variations such as YTH WooCommerce Wishlist. After that click on demo import and import the demo by clicking on the import demo button. These are the free and premium templates of Softmania WordPress theme of theme hunk. Now I will show you Suit Mania template. Suit Mania template is a pre-made template based on Elementor plugin. We need to install the Elementor page builder plugin for this template and install all the rest of the plugins. Now click on the import this site button and click on OK. This process will take time. Now click on the done view site button to see the website. The website will open in the new tab. This is how the website will look after importing. If you are looking for a stylish, modern and easy to use template for your online store that sells suits, then this suit mania template is great option. In the customizer, you can change the color, fonts and layout of the template. Now I will show you how to edit the website with the Elementor setting. Click on the edit with Elementor. When you see this message, you have to do this. First click on the recreate kit. Then this tab will open where you can see these buttons. 
click on the regenerate files and data synchronize library recreate kit then save the changes then go back to the previous step and refresh the page this process will take time Elementor editor is open now and with the Elementor editor you can edit the page's content and design. You can use Elementor to add a variety of widgets to your pages and sections such as an inner section, heading images, text editor, videos, buttons, spacer, divider, google maps and icon. For this feature, you have to upgrade this. You can edit this blog direct from here. You can add or delete a section and edit by clicking on it. Now you can change the layout of this section. You can change the structure of this section. You can change the style of this section. You can change the background of the section. You can select a background type like classic gradient video and color of the background. You can choose a color according to your choice. You can put an image in the background of the section. Background overlay. You can select the background overlay normal or hover. Background type. You can edit the border of the section. You can set the shape divider. You can set the typography. Advanced setting. From here you can set the margin padding motion effects from here you can set the interference animation like fading zooming bouncing sliding rotating and attention seekers according to your need responsive from here you can on off the reverse columns of the tablet portrait and mobile portrait attributes when you will upgrade this template, you will able to add custom HTML attributes to any element. Custom CSS. From here you can add CSS code to any widgets. You can edit this block direct from here. You can select an image according to your need. You can set the image size, image alignment and caption of the image you can put a link you can edit this heading also just click on it to edit content here you can write the appropriate heading put a link html tag and more style you can set the color of the text typography text stroke text shadow and more you can use advanced settings according to your need you can edit this heading also according to your need now i'll show you how to edit this inner section also you can edit this icon box by clicking on it content you can upload an icon according to your need you can write the title of the icon from here
you can write the description of the icon here style from here you can set the primary color of the icon spacing size and more advanced setting you can edit this section you can change the background color of the section you can edit this section according to your need you can edit this section also layout style background normal hover background type background overlay you can edit this from here you can change the image you can set the image according to your need you can set this also you can edit this heading also according to your need you can also edit the product simple add on in the product setting you can set the product category and more in the product box style you can change the background color of the product box in the product title you can set the color of the title of the product you can edit or write the price of the product the sale text of the product the rating style of the product add to cart you can set add to cart button according to your need After making changes don't forget to update Now you can edit this section also You can add a blog to tell your story and all You can edit it in the same way as well we have edited the previous section you can edit this spacer according to your need you can add a button also according to your need you can select the button type for personalized text you need to upgrade this template you can change to demographics of the button you can add new widgets by dragging and drop first you need to select the structure type of the widgets after that you need to add widgets according to your need to add any widget we need to drag the widget and drop that widget on the place where we want to place it now you can put the text here according to your need with this widget you can set an image With this widget you can set a button and you can write the text over the button by clicking on the right of the image widget these options will show
edit image duplicate copy paste paste style paste from other site reset style and more and you can delete this widget from here this is how you can edit your website in elementor edit with customizer setting now i will show you how to edit the website from customizer setting first click on the customize tab from here you can edit the basic things of website like brand color logo font style and more you can see that shop menu theme is activated for more features you can buy premium template of this theme to edit first click on the site identity here you can add your brand logo site title tagline site icon and to save the changes don't forget to publish total background and bg options global colors you can choose the color of the theme of your website according to your brand color you can set the background color according to your choice you can set an image in the background also to save the changes don't forget to publish you can add an image in the header also menu you can add a new menu you can set the main menu according to your need you can replace any item or add a new item widgets from here you can add widgets according to your need just click on the plus sign then these options will show you will add any of these widgets to your website according to your need you can add widgets in the folder also home page setting from here you can set your website's home page you can add a new page or post page WooCommerce. Here you can customize a single product view, store notice, product catalog. Here you can choose what to display on the main shop page. So products, so categories, so categories and products. You can set how many products should be shown per row. and you can set the number of rows per page to save the changes click on the publish button you can set the product images also check out here you can change the appearance of the woocommerce checkout you can set this page according to your preferences you can set the company name field here address line to field phone field you can set the checkout page from basic to advanced additional css you can customize your website like this
Now I will show you the features of the website. You can set your products in the categories. You can set the header like this. This is the product search bar. This is the wishlist page, customer profile and add to cart. You can see the wishlist is empty. The cart is also empty. This is how the website will look to your customers. When your customer will search for the product, this is how the product will be shown to them. When the customer selects any of the product, the product will open on the new page which displays the product details along with the rating. The customer will add more products from here. They can add a product to the wish list and compare. This is the description of the product. This page displays the related product also. When the customer hovers the cursor over the product then add to cart, wish list and compare all these options will appear. Now you can see I have added one product to the wish list. The product has been added to the wishlist page. Your customer can compare like this. First select the product to compare. They can compare more than two products. They compare products by clicking on compare button. Here's how the comparison feature will work. Where you can see the product name, rating, price and all. Whatever the customer chooses the product, they can directly add the product to the cart from here. The product has been added to the cart. The cart will look like this. Where the customer can redeem their coupon Customer can make payment by going to the direct checkout page from here. This is how the checkout page will look like. And the customer will place their order from here. Or whenever the customer will delete the product from the cart by going to the cart icon along with deleting the product your cart is empty message will shown to along with a back to shop button on clicking on back to shop button the customer will come to this page and they will be able to see the products from here also Hope you like this tutorial video, still you have not understood and have any questions or suggestions then do tell us in the comment below. I request you to visit our official website www.themehunk.com once. where you will find wordpress plugins themes and much more you can avail our services like web development site migration and wordpress setup also we have more than 200 ready to import websites
you can read our blog also you can follow us on our social media platform also friends if you want to see a tutorial video of any other wordpress theme then do tell us by commenting below if you find this video useful then do like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you for watching